it's International Women's Day and I thought that I would bring a little bit of my national into it and I also love songs and history so that's what I'm going to do. So this is an anthology of Scottish women poets by Catherine Kerrigan and it's fantastic and I am going to go through some of the songs and sing them. Not all of my songs, the, the poems, but in there's the Gaelic tradition and the Scots and Anglo-Scots tradition and until fairly recently a poem and a song were kind of the same thing. So yeah, I am going to go through them and sing them and tell you a bit about the history of women who composed them because they're all very interesting and I like them very much. Um, some of them are anonymous um, but as Regina Wolf said for most of history anonymous was women but the ones that we do know have really fascinating lives and they also just really help to kind of contextualise them you know and what better way to celebrate International Women's Day than by focusing on interesting lives of interesting women um, who composed very useful songs and yeah looking at the legacy of them and the relevance and why they're still important and still really nice and still sung I think so I'm actually going to say something that is not it's in this book hours. to start off with um, but it's by Violet Jacobs who has got some poetry in this book but not a particular song but I love it so I'm going to sing it anyway um, and it's called Northern Wind and I'll make a separate video about that and you'll find it. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a nice International Women's Day and I would seriously recommend this book because it's very enjoyable and has totally helped me get into the uni because it has translations of all the Gaelic songs. Um, yeah, I think I will finish there and let you have another look at the book. Actually, I'll tell you what's happening on the book cover. Um, there's a lot of women doing stuff um, they're walking cloth, um, so if you're making a kilt, you to sort of bind all the threads together, somebody pees in a cup and you pour it over the cloth, and then you all sit in a circle around a table and you bash it, and it's very good for songs, because you're going, oh, that's not a very good sound, and that's a good rhythm to have a song for. And they're also just very fun because then they have really good choruses. So every, they were designed for everyone to join in. So a lot of these songs I've heard being sung, um, even no matter how old they are, they still get sung because they're still relevant and they're still useful. Because if you've got a song that has a good chorus that everyone can join into, then people sing it when you sing it at events. Um, and it's one of the two types of songs I'm sure there are more, but like two specific songs that are often sung by women are um, walking songs and milking songs. Um, and they're all very fascinating. Um, yeah, so I will sing Northern Wind in a separate video and I hope you all have a nice International Women's Day. And I'm just gonna, I don't know how to sign off, so I'm gonna just shove this in the screen and go away. Where am I? There I am. Bye bye.